I'm going to demonstrate how to use an interactive simulation that models a reversible reaction in an adiabatic plug flow reactor. Now, this simulation is located on the Learn Chemie site, and the link is given here. What we're plotting is conversion versus temperature. The blue line corresponds to an energy balance. So it's an exothermic reaction. If we convert twice as much, we get twice the temperature change. We're assuming heat capacities are constant, heat reactions constant. The black line represents equilibrium conversion. So for an exothermic reaction, as we raise the temperature, equilibrium conversion decreases. If we ran an adiabatic reactor to equilibrium, then this point, the intersection of these two curves, corresponds to the equilibrium conversion and equilibrium temperature which are shown by these values. Now, we can change the feed temperature. Right now, we're at 400 degrees, which is the temperature here. You can also change the presence of inert, and inert will affect conversion because if we feed inert, we have to also raise the temperature of that inert, which means the equilibrium temperature will not be as high, and therefore, the equilibrium conversion will increase as we add more inert. Because this reaction A goes to B, the inert's not going to affect the equilibrium otherwise. And so let's look at this simulation. So right now we're looking at exothermic reaction with no inert. And as I add more inert, you can see equilibrium conversions increasing, equilibrium temperatures decreasing. As I change the feed temperature, I'm at 350, which is here. If I raise the feed temperature, now, 400, of course, we've lowered equilibrium conversion. We've raised the equilibrium temperature. For an endothermic reaction, behavior is going to be reversed. The slope of this line now is negative because as reaction takes place, we cool everything down in an adiabatic reactor. If I had inert, then we have to cool down more material so the temperature is higher. For endothermic reactions, as we raise the temperature, the equilibrium conversion increases. That's the black line. And so you can see equilibrium conversion and equilibrium temperature. So we fed at 475, and the temperature drops because of cooling from reaction, and it's adiabatic reactor. And so this relation between equilibrium behavior and the energy balance allows us to determine conditions for equilibrium conversion if we go to equilibrium conversion in an adiabatic reactor.